it is time for us to once again head north of the bridge. But UP Adventures will come later, because this time we're heading north of the border. We jump on the Trans-Canada Highway, with our destination being Batchewana Bay, Ontario. And Lake Superior welcomed us with her classic cold, wet, summer weather. After spending the first rainy day with family, it was time to try and find the first hike of the trip. We are on our first hike and shoot up here in Ontario. We are overlooking Pancake Bay. It is very cloudy and kind of moody and dramatic, but there are little hints of light peeking through. So we're up here at, I believe is what is called the Edmund Fitzgerald Lookout. And really, really awesome views. But again, the clouds and the light are a little flat, except in patches. So. I'm going to take a minute and kind of walk around and go back and forth to some of the different lookouts and viewpoints and see what I can find. Like I said, there's light poking through in places, so I think we'll get some dynamic, at least some dynamic cloud movement for a time lapse, which will be really good. But uh, yeah, first shoot, and this is just the start. We're going to go explore some rivers and waterfalls later, and then probably spend some time down on the beach too. So yeah. Although I settled on a composition fairly easily, I had more trouble dialing in an exposure that I was happy with. The low clouds smothered most of the light, but the gap with the horizon made finding an even exposure tricky. So I brought out a graduated filter. uniform in color. It's very slate gray. There's not a lot of definition or texture. It's really only right on the horizon where there's that bit of light. It's kind of coming back underneath it that's really giving any definition. So I've set my composition pretty low, getting most of the trees out to the, sh the far horizon of the water in the lower two thirds, just to, you know, only give as much space to the sky as I really need. Because it's not that dramatic up there. Pretty slow moving, so it's a relatively fast shutter speed or interval. I'm just gonna do it with five seconds. We'll just let that run for a little bit, try to still get at least some sort of shot. Okay, while the camera is clicking away, taking my first time lapse of this little trip, I thought I would just kind of quickly fill you in on, here we'll go this way, that way, looks better. Fill you in on where we are and what we're doing up here. Allison's family has property up here on the east shore of Lake Superior. And Lake Superior is a place that has always been very central and very often the focus of a lot of my landscape photography. 
uh, especially in the past when I lived in Marquette. And then when I met Allison and found out her family had a place up here on the East Shore, I just knew it was going to open a bunch of opportunities to see in other parts of the lake that I hadn't seen yet. So here we are. It is my first time visiting up here with her. And really, this is like just kind of a vacation trip because we're spending a lot of time with her family. And, uh, and she's just kind of showing me all the local sites that she grew up coming to. Like I said, getting my first shot right out here overlooking the woods out to the lake and it looks very cool it's very unique i the unfortunately the lighting is a little dull it's just kind of flat gray clouds obscuring most of the light there might be a chance to get some fog rolling in here in a minute uh which would be kind of cool but at the moment it's pretty bland so yeah here is to a little to a vacation with a little bit of photography sprinkled in up here on the east shore of lake superior in ontario so and here comes the monster. <laughs> All right, we will check back in in a bit. Ooh, there's a bit of fog lifting off the trees down there now. We are, we just finished that shot back there and I think it might end up looking very, very cool because a whole bank of fog ended up rolling in and right into my shot, right through the shot. And so we were just above the le level, but there was still that light from underneath so you could see it really well. Uh, so anyway, now we're walking through the woods and we can see the mist coming through the woods. So we're gonna try to stop for one more quick shot here and then uh, we're gonna continue on with the rest of the day's adventures. So this is what we're looking at going out. This is where I'm gonna try the next shot and right out here somewhere. Ooh, let's see. Hmm, very cool, but might be tough to find a composition. Maybe something like over in here with a bit of this foreground. Yeah, maybe we'll try getting a bit of this in the foreground with this, with the trees and the fog in the background. Maybe, yeah, we'll see. I might try a few different things here. Foggy forest scenes like this are often some of my favorite scenes to photograph, but they can easily not work out. So much of this scene became obscured by fog that I didn't end up shooting it for very long. So we took a short drive north to Alona Bay to attempt some shots near the lakeshore. Unfortunately, the light is just very flat right now, and the clouds have really smothered any and all light that there might have been. So, I'm seeing a lot of compositions that I like and really want to shoot, but the light is just giving me nothing to work with. Um, there's no interest, there's no fun. It's just really dark and moody, so I definitely shot some compositions that I think I'll end up liking. Uh, but kind of blah right now. So we're gonna we're gonna pack up and head back south. Unless the weather changes this might be all the shooting we do for today. Sometimes it goes like that when you're in a place so wild and untamed. With that we started our drive back to Bachelana. But before long, I saw another opportunity for a shot. 
It ended up being one of the more unique shots I've taken in a while and my favorite of the trip so far. Be sure to catch the next episode where we take an adventurous drive into the Ontario bush and explore some waterfalls.